Hey Red Hawks, I'm Taylor Kiriko. And I'm Sarah Henry. And welcome back to Hawk, Hawk Talk. Talk. In this week's episode, we'll be going over an interview with Coach Claudel and more of our student interviews. We will also be sharing what's new in the media with Hawk Culture and more of our outstanding students with Student Spotlight. We will also be presenting entertainment such as another parody music video, dad jokes, and a skit with AU. Our football team had a great season this year and we cannot wait until next year to see them play again. But until then, let's go to Davis Smith and see what him and Coach Claudel talked about in an interview. Hello everybody, welcome back to Hawk Talk Sports. I'm Davis Smith. I'm here with our football coach, Coach Claudel. Thank you for taking your time out of your day to come with us. It's an honor to join you guys, thank you. Mm -hmm. No problem. Now, I'm gonna ask you a couple of questions. The first one is, what is the challenge most athlete, athletes face in today's world? You know, I think the challenges are uh, that are facing you know, athletes, especially in high school now, uh, are, you know, a lot different than the ones that I faced, you know, uh, not too long ago. You know, most everybody uh, now that's in high school has their own cell phone, and even when I was growing up, that just wasn't the case, and now everybody's got one that, you know, has not just the ability to contact people on it, but the ability to re really live the majority of their life on it, and, you know, there's different apps and different challenges that I think you know, the, the student athlete nowadays faces with all those types of things and everything that can come with that, um, that many of us as coaches haven't had to deal with. And so, um, you know, but there's a lot of other things, you know, just most kids are uh, balancing a job as well, uh, balancing, you know, their social life, you know, academics, you know, also the ability to, uh, and the desire to compete in their sport at a high level. So there's a lot of different inter interpersonal challenges, you know, that our, our student athletes face, and that's what makes our job as coaches really important. Yeah, like I'm an athlete myself, and social media is a really big part of sports in general. Like, like Twitter, you get put out there, and it can cause people to like overthink and all of that. But next question is, how should coaches like help these athletes face these challenges? That's a great question. I think for me, I I try to you know, be as available as possible. You know, you mentioned Twitter, another, um, you know, that I'd mention is Snapchat, the ability to send something and have it um, immediately be deleted. You know, sometimes those types of things make it hard to, uh, you know, for kids to be vulnerable, you know, and open up. And especially when you're the head coach, just to be honest, a lot of kids uh, struggle with that, want to be tough and uh, not show their, you know, weak side, so to speak. But as a coach, you know, that's, Ultimately, why we got into this is to help kids. It's not about whatever sport we're doing. Obviously, that's a huge part of it. But you know, uh, you know, having that open door policy, constantly reminding, you know, that you're, you know, reinforcing that you're proud of them, uh, that that you're available if needed. Uh, communication with parents, you know, all those types of things. Communication with other teachers, even, you know, when things come up, uh, you know, across my desk as well. So, um, you know, I don't think. You know, there's there's enough that we can do. I mean, even even to the extent of touching base with youth ministers and things like that to try and rally around kids and um, you know all the challenges that you asked that that obviously all our student athletes are facing. Yeah, uh, like here we have like a lot, uh, youth ministers ministers like come to like during lunch and like talk to us athletes or like just students in general, and then like just makes us think about everything, makes us like remind ourselves why we're doing it and not let people get into our heads and everything. But the last question is, what is your favorite thing about this Stewart's Creek football team? Yeah, well, you know, there's there's a lot of unknowns. You know, it's it's the off season. It's uh, March, March the 2nd, you know, and so we really haven't been together as, as a 2022 team a whole lot just yet. But I'd say the biggest thing is this is, I know that this is going to be a really resilient team. Uh, you know, these rising seniors, their sophomore and junior season has had a total of four games taken away from them. Just this time last year, you know, a good portion, of, I'd say about 35 or so percent of our team was not in school every day. And so, you know, there were several days throughout the week that I didn't even get to see our players, which, you know, you want to be a relational coach and see your guys and check in on them and see how, you know, they are in the lunchroom and see, you know, uh, just how they're doing with, with other things going on. And so, you know, I think one thing that I'm really excited about, you know, is, as our off season is, is underway, is just being able to be together every day. Uh, you know, have the whole first, second, third period. You know, lifting together those types of things. Uh, that's something we don't take for granted anymore. So excited to, 
you know, kind of continue to go through the off season and, and uh, get closer to uh, Friday Night Lights this fall. It's going to be a wonderful season this upcoming season and just watching from the stands and everything. But that was Coach Caudell. See y'all next time. Go Red Hawks. Now on to an interview with Morgan Vanderbilt. All right. Thank you for taking, like, the time out of class and, like, all of that to, like, have an interview with us. Mm, you're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. What's your favorite workout? Uh, probably squatting. That's that's one of my favorite ones. It, it works good quad, quad activation. What pushes you to do better? Uh, probably my family and, you know, just the team in general, just trying to get wins in for the team. That's that's how I am for baseball. Just just got to do better. Now, last question. What do you like most about the Sturge Creek football team? Um, Probably just how, like, we, I guess, I don't know how to put it. I, like, we're just like a family, you know? Like, we collaborate good together. We work good together. We just Most of all, we just like to have fun. So. Will that cause us to do better next year? Uh, I hope so. I hope so, too. Now, that was it with our interview with Morgan Vanderbilt. Bye, guys. Now on to another interview with a Stewart's Creek football player, Clark Beasley. Yes, sir. Thank you, for, like, thank you for taking your time out of class, like, interview with us. No problem. Now, I got a couple of questions to ask you. Now, the first one is, what's your favorite workout? Uh, full cleans, problem. Good hip activation. How much How much your hand clean? Or full clean? 215. That's not that bad. That's not that bad. Now, another question. What pushes you to do better? All right, the money. <laughs> That's a lot of athletes have said the same thing. Now, last question: What do you like most about the Sturge Creek football team? Uh, the people. Um, I'm saying we just like very close, and the free clothes. I like that too. Will the people and like having close bonding make us a better team next year? I hope so. <laughs> that was it with Clark Beasley. Now we're on to another interview with another Sturge Creek football player, Jackson Todd. Hello. Hmm. Thank you for taking like your time out of class, learning, turning in assignments and everything. Yeah. Now I got a couple of questions and the first one is, what's your favorite workout? Uh, Probably squat. Good quad activation, I like it, I like it. Now another question, what pushes you to do better? Uh, My family first and then uh, second, it's so like my brother. That's family, always gotta come first, no matter what. Now another question, what do you like most about the Sturge Creek football team? Uh, teammates and just all the bond, uh, bonds you get with everyone and you get like all your groups in it and in the family. Would that cause us to do better next year? Uh, hopefully. That was it with Jackson Todd. And now for more student interviews with Jonathan Jones. I'm Jonathan Jones with student interviews and this is... Taj. Jalen. D'Angelo. Guys, if you had any superpower, what would you have? Uh, probably invisibility. Fire. Flying. Do you know why? Mm, no, really. I don't even know, if it, for real. You know, I'm just going to fly away from everybody. I don't know. I just, I mean, I don't know. I'm here with? Zeb Smotherman. Michaela Straub. Isaac Jackson. And Zeb, if you had any superpower, what would it be? Super speed. Why super speed? So I could get to lunch and get the good food early. Anything else? Uh, what's up? If you had any superpower, what would it be? Um, to be invisible so I could go anywhere no one knowing what I'm doing. Anything else? Reading people's minds too. Isaac, if you had any superpower, what would it be? Uh, probably invincibility. Invincibility? Why invincibility? Uh, so I'll never get hurt. Because <laughs> I'm already hurt all the time. <laughs> I'm here with? Carly Dunn. Carly, if you had any superpower, what would it be? I would choose to be invisible so I could get away with things. Anything else? No, that's about it. That's your only superpower? Maybe to be able to like fly invisible, I guess. That's a good combination. I'm here with? Mo. Marcel. Guys, if you had any superpower, what would it be? Uh, teleportation. Super speed. You know why? Uh, so I, so I can go anywhere I want. I mean, speed can't be beat, you know what I'm saying? I'm just like that. Hey, we're back with Cheese again for another week. Cheese, if you had any superpower, what would it be? Um, I ain't gonna lie. 
I think I'd rather fly or like have super strength because you know who don't want to be really strong and who don't want to fly every place. If you fly, you don't really have to drive nowhere. So you know, probably fly and drive. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Any other superpower? I think I want to be having um, invincibility, so I could just sneak around places. You know. Yeah. All right. See I'm here with Sean Thomas. Sean, if you had any superpower, what would it be? Invisibility. Invisibility. Why? So I could, you feel me, go invincible. I don't really know. Go invincible. Go invincible, probably, probably sneak into a few amusement parks, probably ride some slides, get on a water park. You feel me? You wouldn't do the same thing? We don't encourage lawlessness, but all right. Hey, man, it's a superpower. I got to do what I got to do. Have fun. You agree? He agrees. Exactly. And now let's go to Jonathan and Dylan on Hot Culture to see what's new in the media, news, games, and more. Welcome to Hot Culture, the segment that brings you the latest in pop culture. I'm Jonathan. And I'm Dylan. The game of the week for this episode is Elden Ring. The game is the work of the epic collaboration between one of the most esteemed fantasy writers of all time, George R.R. R. Martin, and the game studio behind the Dark Souls series, From Software. The game takes place in a completely new and unique fantasy land, with gameplay reminiscent of the classic Souls series mentioned before. The game was released on February 25th for both the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5, as well as the Xbox One, and Series X, and S, and the PC. The top song on YouTube's top songs chart is I Hate Young Boy by RR Top. This song was released on February 22nd, 2022, and it is 3 minutes and 32 seconds long. Um, the song also has 191,000 listeners on Spotify right now. The Halo series trailer dropped on January 30th, and it shows Master Chief, a cybernetically enhanced super soldier, as he defends the Earth from the Alien Covenant in the 26th century. The show will star Pablo Schreiber as Master Chief, Jen Taylor as Cortana, and many more. The first episode will premiere this March 24th exclusively on Paramount+. Plus. That's all that we have for this week's Hot Culture. I'm Jonathan. And I'm Dylan. And now back to Taylor and Sarah. SCTV would like to present another parody music video with Sid. <laughs> 